Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplay, where I play games stylishly. Today I'm back with an old series of mine, Great Boss, where I talk about an amazing boss in a God of War game. Today's boss is Hercules from God of War 3. In this series, I go through what makes the boss great, the background music of the boss, and of course, how well the boss plays. I favor mechanics and boss fights for anyone of you who doesn't know. It is the most important thing to have a boss function in the best of ways. Yes, him being heavily involved in the story does bring him up a lot, but the most important thing is still the boss's mechanics. Although I still talk about music and some other stuff here and there, just know that I favor mechanics over every other thing. Now with all that said, let's Let's start the video with the awesome music to get it out of the way just to just you know just to start with it do i need to say anything about my favorite soundtrack in all of god of war the theme that's playing in the background is called the glory of sparta it was introduced to us at the very start of god of war 2 but this one is changed a little it has more of this build-up that you hear right now The song captures the brawl that is happening, it captures the hype of everything happening at the moment and it's just so great. You're fighting this Greek hero and making him your bitch, the music is backing you up, the fight is yours. But the beautiful thing about all this is that there's a twist to it. When all of his army is cleared and you gain the upper hand near the end before getting his gauntlet, the music suddenly shifts from the glory of Sparta that was cheerful and hype to the horrorcore background music that is the rage of Sparta that we've been hearing throughout the game. This truly changes the vibe and the atmosphere of this entire fight. Suddenly everything is building up to a sad ending for Hercules. No longer is the fight capturing a happy and sometimes funny brawl. It's like the game notices that you gained the upper hand and it's just a one on one from here on and it just changes the whole vibe of the entire fight changing the music as well. It's really really good. What's left is simply captured in the best way with Kratos brutalizing this guy's face. Non stop hits until he opens the floor with him and the music comes to a stop. Basically the music that backs all of this up in here is simply magnificent. Nothing else to say let's move on to the next part of this video. The next part we're gonna discuss is of course the combat and you know the whole entire loop and the gimmicks of this fight, what goes into it, what doesn't work, what works. Okay, the fight starts simple, there are undead enemies that you have to kill but then you have archers up top as well so you have to kind of be careful and take them out first. Pretty good start getting you ready for what's gonna come after you know he drops down, it's, it's a nice setup, it's a very nice setup, you know you start with these guys and then it gets even crazier. Once the man himself drops down you have a lot of ammo around you to destroy him, he does huge slams that that deal damage to everyone around him, guys the warriors to grab you and if grabbed he runs towards you to deliver a heavy punch. You do not want to be close from this guy so what you do is one of the best tools that God of War 3 introduced. The battering ram. You grab one of these guys and press square and you run towards him to damage him and this works wonderfully on all difficulties. This is on very hard. It makes this fight way more manageable than what it looks. You have a lot of these fellas around you so you should be good. They, these guys spawn infinitely for two phases. But with all that said there is a twist to this, you still have to be careful and you have to know when to fully commit to your assault and when to retreat. This man can slap you out of your recovery animation after the grab is finished if you're not careful enough. Basically to put it short, you lose iframes after that grab before gaining full control on Kratos. So you won't be able to dodge in time if he, if he has a punch coming and your grab just happens to, to end right there. That's why the best time to fully commit to the battering ram is right as he's starting his attack. That way you hit him with the battering ram 3 to 4 times and deal all the great damage in the world. This strategy is the best against him but there's a catch to it, it only works for 2 phases because there comes a phase where he slams the ground wiping everyone around the arena out and he shakes his mom's panties, she's sitting up there. Now you're in the 1v1 where the music shift happens and here you gotta work the best of your positioning. Don't be up in his face attacking him, he likes to parry a lot. He also has huge punches that can send you to the gates and you can get stuck and you, you take a lot of damage, don't stay close. Stay far away and deliver these heavy blows from afar, sometimes you can be smart about it and start when close to him and slowly move away by keeping on attacking so that he attacks and you can land your devastating hit on him when he's wide open. This guy is deadly up close and you have to work against that. After some back and forth you take away his gauntlets and just start destroying this man. He goes insane and tries everything from throwing boulders to trying to destroy the whole stage at the very end. 
In here, you completely have the upper hand. You're damaging him like crazy and all that, but you still have to be careful since the guy likes to grab a lot. And after the QTE that you all know of, the fight comes to its closure and the boss battle is over and boom, you have a very nice boss fight in God of War 3 that truly makes you use your surroundings smartly and just makes the best of your positioning. We now come to the closure of the combat department of this video. Of course, if I wanted to talk about any other thing other than the combat and the music, it would be how funny the thought process was when making us fight this guy. We see a glimpse of him at the start of the game and later on when we meet him, it is a very interesting exchange between the two. Kratos is surprisingly constantly giving him chances to, to just let go and move on, but the man just wants the smoke. I just love how comedic it is that he is salty for you taking everything away from him every victory. I can almost imagine the jokes when writing for this guy. Hey, it's Hercules, the most famous Greek hero. Fuck him, let's make Kratos beat him with an inch of his life. This is my third favorite boss in God of War 3 with Zeus being at number one and Hades being at number two. I have done a great boss video for Zeus, so if you're interested, give that a watch. God of War 3's Hercules is a very fun and balanced challenge and it stands the test of time to this day. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. I really felt like making a great boss episode and here it is. If you enjoyed the video, then please make sure to like and subscribe it really helps i never ask but trust me it, it just really helps if you want me to continue doing this thing make sure to like and subscribe it has been your extreme gamers st peace